Welcome to the Veritas Operation Manager how to video on configuring AD or LDAP authentication in Veritas Operation Manager 6.0. To configure the LDAP or AD, log into the WARM console. Go to settings. You can configure the LDAP AD by clicking the shortcut button configure LDAP AD or by going to security clicking the configure LDAP AD button. In the LDAP AD wizard panel enter the server information by providing the server name. The server name field is a mandatory field. The server name can be a fully qualified host name or IP address of the LDAP server. If a secure session is configured with the LDAP server using SSL certificates, enter the fully qualified host name that matches with the fully qualified host name in the LDAP server certificate. Provide a port number on which the LDAP server is configured to run. By default, this field displays the port number as 389. You can edit this port number if required. The port number field is mandatory. Click the verify server button. This helps to determine if login or SSL are required, find AD domain or open LDAP DN base for login. Gives error dialog on failure and no messages on success. This server requires me to log on is an optional field. Check this box if anonymous operations are disabled on the LDAP server and a bind user ID is required to proceed with configuring the LDAP based authentication. Provide credentials for the bind username or distinguished name. Use secure sockets layer. Check this box to use the secure sockets layer certificates to establish a secure channel between authentication broker and the LDAP server. Certificate location. Location of the trusted root CA certificate of the vendor that issued the LDAP server certificate. Please provide the user name that the system uses to detect the LDAP server related settings. The system determines the search base based on the username that you specify in this field. Group name. Name of the user group that the system used to detect the LDAP server related settings. Veritas Operation Manager displays this field if the user does not belong to any user groups. The system determines the search base based on the server group server name. Displays the fully qualified host name or the IP address of the LDAP server that you have specified in the LDAP AD wizard panel. You cannot edit this field. Domain name. Unique name to identify the LDAP based authentication that you configure on the primary authentication broker. Use default. Select this option if you want to use the default search base that system has detected using the information that you have provided on the LDAP AD wizard panel. Custom. Select this option to specify the search base other than the default search base. For the purpose of this demonstration, I would be using the following configuration as shown on the screen. And then click next. The LDAP AD domain is configured successfully. To verify the LDAP and AD configuration, go to security. The domain would be listed under the brokers and domain tab. This concludes the video on configuring Active Directory or LDAP authentication in Veritas Operations Manager 6.0.